Okay, uh, we're now going to uh, describe how you install your primary mirror uh, in this 12 and a half inch telescope into the primary mirror cell. Alright, so uh, the mirror is going to come like this with the cardboard cover on the face and there will be some, um, some painter's tape around the edge that you'll just have to peel off and this cardboard cover uh, will just easily come off the, the, the primary mirror. Uh, but we're going to skip that for now, we're going to jump right into the primary mirror cell which you can see has a fan here in the back uh, with an on-off switch that's your under primary cooling fan. Uh, so what I want to do first here though is let's drop the mirror cell down. Uh, it has the tailgate feature on it. Okay, which uh, when you get it, these nuts and bolts will be on here a lot tighter. Uh, for now I just have them on here finger tight. All right, so we'll take the um, acorn nut and washer off and then this bolt this bolt here will just drop out. Make sure you just have a good handle on it so it doesn't get away from you. Again here, acorn nut and washer will come off and the bolt just drops right out. And at this point there's nothing holding the mirror cell from flopping down. So now it'll just come down but it hinges at these two points down here. Uh, so now it, it sort of does like a tailgate design. All right. Um, so you're going to want something to go underneath of it. I placed this box here. Uh, so something along these lines to keep the mirror cell relatively flat in this position. All right. First thing you want to do is make sure the three clips here that would go onto the face of the mirror are swung away and out of the way. Okay, so swing them out of the way there. Now, the mirror cell is all ready. We can now grab our primary mirror. Now we take the cover off of here. We can place the cover off to the side. And we have our primary mirror. Now it's important to note there are three sets of two Velcro tabs. One set here, one set here, and then another set here. Okay. Um, what I find easiest to do is put one thumb on this set, one thumb on this set here, and then leave the third set right in the center. All right, Facing away from you so that now you place it inside of the your cell like so. All right. Now next step, now that it's in there, it's sitting on top of the flotation pads. Uh, the cable sling. This now goes in between those two Velcro tabs right there. There's a gap in between the tabs. That's where the sling goes, right in between those two tabs. And in order to hold it into place, we've given you three opposing Velcro tabs. All right, so now they just Get stuck on there like so. Make sure they're on there nice and tight, right, nice and flush. And same thing, feel around here. Again, good to have gloves on so that you don't accidentally touch the face of the mirror. But if you do, it's not the end of the world because you've got gloves on. Okay, we're going to take another Velcro tab here. Same thing on this side. Press it on the edge. Make sure it's in place. And the third and final tab, you just want to reach around the face here to the edge of the mirror and push the Velcro tab on there. All right. Next step, now that you've got the sling in place, I find it's good to, to push the mirror forward, push it away from you. That then engages the cable sling against the edge of the mirror. So now it's got some tension on it. Next is to swing these mirror clips all right, onto the face of the mirror. All right, so this is your safety catch in case the telescope were to go past flat, horizontal. This would keep the mirror from flopping out of the cell. So you have one here, you have one here, and one here. And then what I find is if you hold the clip and just do a finger tighten of the bolt, that ends up being fine, or the nut, I should say, on top of the bolt. Here, so same thing here. Hold this and tighten here with your finger. And that's really all you need. This is this is the important one here. All right, these two really aren't even all that needed down here. But this one up here, this is what's going to keep the mirror from falling forward. All right, so now the mirror is in. Now we just push that forward, put the bolt back up through the hole, through the cell, through the face. We drop the washer on top of it. We take the acorn nut and put that on there, get it finger tight first. Again, do this and repeat. There you go, put that on there. Put the acorn nut on there, get it finger tight. 
then using a pair of uh, wrenches uh, or adjustable wrenches, whatever you have, um, half inch for the head of the bolt and nine sixteenths for the acorn nut. And get these as tight as you possibly can. So this is what's really going to help the mirror cell from moving and keep your collimation nice and tight. All right, so really get those as tight as possible. All right, so now the mirror is in, the mirror cell is locked in place. The last thing to do is to take two hands and just make sure the mirror's got a little bit of play right to left. You don't want it, you know, pinched in there right to left. Uh, but you want it just a little bit of play back and forth, um, you know, about a sixteenth of an inch this way or that way. All right, and then you just want to leave the mirror right in the middle of that gap. And essentially you're done. That's it. The mirror's in there. It's installed. Uh, it's ready to go.